Hello everybody, my name is Pasta Obesity and this is a very different video than what I usually make. But, you know, it's my channel, I get to make whatever I want. That sounded very condescending, I I'm aware, but it is what it is. So, um, hold on, let me just, uh, yeah, so... I make this video is barely edited. I wanted to feel as authentic as possible. Why am I making a video like this? And what am I doing here? Am I stupid? Well, hear me out. Ever since I was young, I've developed a habit of lecturing to myself or talking to myself. Like I would do it out loud and people would find it weird, which you know, that's fine. Even though that's not at the same time. But, you know, you can't change people's opinions. But I found out about a channel that I really um, gained attachment to. And it was called The Weekly Slap. It was... It's a channel ran by Jay Slap, but he talks about, like, his stories, his lives, and viewer questions. And I'm like... Dude, I want to do that. I love talking about, like, things. Talking about fictional things and talking about, like, the status of things. That's like, that's like my shit. And yeah, there'll be barely edited, so that'll probably be left in there, even though I'd usually censor that, but that's besides the point. Do not treat this as a podcast, please. I really don't. Please don't do that. I'm just running around to, to for looking at the environment for some reason. Um, and... You know, ever since I was young, I would gain this habit. I'll usually do it around, um, like, early mornings when I'm, like, legitimately have nothing to do. So, what I would do is I would discuss about things that I want to talk about, like, uh, opinions on media, communities, my life, or, like, try to talk to myself about how I should handle things. Because I have a lot of mental issues, and talking to myself really helps with that. And there's been something I've been wanting to discuss for a very long time. And I feel like today is the perfect opportunity to do it. Because this is just going to be uploaded on YouTube. I'm not, I don't want to call this low effort content. Because it technically is. But I just feel like that would be very rude to what I'm trying to say here. So I'm not going to call it that. So if you guys aren't aware, there was a video... Back in 2018, on Musical.ly, not TikTok, Musical.ly, that went almost astronomically viral. And it changed the way media is um, made forever. <sighs> Shit. Uh, that I'm not good with keyboard or mouse. I play with gyro controls on a PS5 controller. But it was, it was the... Um, with Khalifa shit. I don't remember what it was called. And that video went... Was... That video changed how the internet worked. I know this gameplay sucks. Don't mind it. It's, I'm not trying to be good. I'm trying to rant. There's probably even no music. Very minimal editing, if all, if any. But if there's music, that means I probably edited it. And... I hate it. I hate how... Content creation is made now because of that video it introduced the popular the popular popular popularization the new meta at the time which was short formed content with barely like any real effort or um lip syncing and that was cool at the time it was but like now this whole thing has devolved into what I like to call the current meta of content creation or influencers. Ever since that video released, it was the new meta to have to make short based content like Vine. Vine was one of the first people to first companies to really hone that in. And I feel like ever since Vine, ever since that one um um, I bet you never miss, huh? You got a boyfriend, but he doesn't kiss you. Whatever the, f whatever the hell that was. I'm not. Tr I'm not trying to curse too much here. I don't want to get demonetized here. 
And, you know, that sucks. Because, I don't know, I, don't call me a boomer, but one of the things that made me fall in love with creating content and make me f dedicate 10 years of my life and not even make any real money off of it is it's a way of expression true passion it's a way for people to genuinely connect with you not on a deep level like we're not going to go parasocial here like people get murdered over that um but like it it allows an outlet for people who don't have outlets they're not going to like vent and like be another boogie 298a or whatever but like I don't know. But now all content creation is, it's just... What do I even call it? Let's, let us let me think here. I'm trying to play the game at the same time. There was... There is reaction-based content, which is just slop on top of slop. There's short-based content, which is just like... I mean, some short-based content is good, like Zach D Films and some others I can't really name right now, but... Most of it is just, like, thing, but, like, overly edited. Another big thing that ruined, another big category is how much streaming has become popular. I feel like ever since streaming has become, like, the biggest job in the world right now, people are making millions off it because of Kaisena and I Show Speed. I feel like... Streaming has kind of ruined content creation landscape. Streaming kind of made it... Streaming allowed bad people to easily gain bad audiences. Like Sneeko or Andrew Tate or Jinxie. Look, I Jinxie was cool at first, but then he started doing another thing that caused a whole new era of content... That arguably made things worse. He clip farmed. And that's another new thing. Like, a, lot of st a lot of content creators nowadays. And I know this sounds like a schizophrenic rant. But I'll probably elaborate more on this. On more uh, videos of this new series I want to do. By the way I'm calling it I Just Want to Talk. Because I just want to talk. And allow my opinion to be heard by like four people. Four people is a lot by the way. I don't... You know what I mean. Streamers, what they'll do is that they'll just basically clip farm. They'll just do ridiculous things. Or do things that are just simply dumb. And then, like, have angry emotions. Or do this and that. And it's just like, what the, f what the hell are we doing here? I'm so sick and tired of this new meta of... Everything has to be in their face. Sire the Clown talked about it when he said that this generation is cooked. Because another thing that ruined content creation is not just how short-based content became the best in the world or how um, constant edits in loud music, in automated captions... And whoosh transition effects. And all this shit. It's mainly just like. The lack of authenticity. I feel like ever since. Content creators wanted it to hit big. Outside of. What they were famous for. I feel like that's when. They. I feel like that's when. Influencers. Like actual real influencers. That's when they died. Influencers and content creation was about a way of expression. Broadcasting yourself. A way for you to gain genuine connections with people on the internet. And ever since the whole thing of that everything being so monetized, everything being so greedy, everything's being so... What's the word? marketable I feel like that's when content creation has died I yearn for the days of like 20 
13, where we had, like, I used to call him, his name is Glitchy Gaming, but I used to call him Annoying White Kid, because he just screamed a lot playing Gmod. But that's besides the point. Um, it's, it's bad, man. I, like, I remember back then I would watch so many videos that were just, like, people who were just playing video games, sitting in front of the camera. They didn't have to do, like, meme edits, rapid cuts, two-second cuts, goddamn, like, just in your face, in your face, in your face, this, 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 this. Like, it was just some guy who wanted to play, like, The Walking Dead or something. And he just made... And they just liked him. They liked his personality. I think the main people I can name for that sort of thing when that was a big deal was, like, early PewDiePie, early Jack, Septic Guy, Thanos sometimes i mean vanos did still still did some like marketing stuff here and there in fact all the youtubers i listed did but there was but a, the sense of like they would be vulnerable they would be what's the word um real they would be real and i feel like that that doesn't exist anymore. I can't find a real content creator. I can like content creators. I can like for what they put out. Hell, if there's like the only streamer I watch is literally some like irrelevant ass twenty six year old man named Caesar Fever, with a little OC cringe community that I really like. Like. Even if he still does like marketing and he makes he made plushies of his OC characters and goddamn he has like f he has he has an FNF mod he appeared in an uh his fictional society town community appeared in a indie freaking horror game his Discord server is like mad professional or whatever but and um that's cool for him that's good for him I like it. Because he's a he's a cool streamer. He's casual. I like casual. But like, I don't know. Even if, like, part of me still hates that because I wish content creation was about the, the content. And not about how the content is made. Like the stupid ass goddamn white kids who be saying like oh video is funny until i check the likes video is funny until i check the views like they want to fit in or something like because like they think that it's awkward to like a video that doesn't have 163,000 point 163 uh, point 9, 000 likes and like 2 million views they gotta think it's weird because they want to fit in so bad god i i hate teenagers holy shit i fucking hate people oh god Oh, I hate people. Ha! Ah! Sorry about that. And another thing that really pisses get the f get out. Another thing that hold on, I'm gonna, I want to I want a shotgun. Give me a shotgun. Um yeah, I'm just sick and tired of how greedy and monetized content creation became even like the most casual streamers are still going for bigger and better things and it's just like but why can't you just stay with the same thing that people fell in love with you at the first place this isn't directed at anyone don't please don't do not make this say do not interpret this as me saying i'm going after people i'm going after someone else just talked about that's bullshit that is some absolute pussy material. I will not do that. That is horrible. I'm not here to talk shit to people. I'm here to talk shit about the meta that creation has become. Another... God, leave me alone! God damn! Ah. <sighs> 
I feel like... <sighs> I'm being honest here, man. And you know, you know what the thing is? You know what the really unfortunate thing is? Content like this has also became monetized. Like, there are content... Like, I don't know if it's true or not, but there's like a couple of content creators who'll do these type of videos. Say the most grass is green, the sky is blue takes, and monetize the hell out of this formula. I'm like, can we just have authenticity? Can we just have people be people? I want to not fall in love. That's stupid. I want to be, I want to like someone for them. Not for, not, not, not for a recorded personified version of them. Like, I want to see them be wrong or angry or sad or, ha or be ridiculous. I don't want them to be like too ridiculous. I don't want them to fucking bring a horse into their home or take off bottle caps and scream about how bottle caps don't work and and then spill your drink everywhere and just be a dumbass. I just want content creators to be creators. I don't want them to be marketing monetize machines. If I'm being honest, we need a complete reset on content. We need a 180. I want there to somehow be a day where if you post any edited f content on YouTube, you get banned. No, I'm not banned. That's ridiculous. You get like... I don't know. What's the word? I don't remember. I just want... I just want that feeling of finding somebody I really like and being attached to them. Not being attached to what they make. I want to look at a content creator and be like, that guy has brought me so many good memories in my life. I will always appreciate for what he has done for these years. I don't want to look at someone and be like, oh, remember the time he clapped his booty cheeks on camera? <laughs> you get what I mean? That was kind of funny. But man, it's, it's bad out here. Especially since um, the, con the attention spans of people are so abysmally bad now. It's it's horrible out here. God damn it. I, I was going to punch him. Um that like you you if you want any type of success or you want to make a living off of this, you you kind of have to. You you're you're going to have to do that stuff. And <sighs> It sucks. And I don't know. I know someone in the comments would be like, oh, you're just you just want an excuse to make lazy content, not put any effort or hire anybody because you're broke. Ha ha, bro got no bitches, bro got no money, no friends, no future. Ha ha ha. Shut up. You probably post put the fries in the bag. Um Liking video, but it has not but I check the views or likes or uh, So funny tis funny just funny uh, You'll get a profile view or um, Hawk to a respect button Emoji pointing down to the comment like button me um people who blank 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 like shot oh, oh. I don't know if you guys hear this, but I'm putting my face against my hands. I'm so sick and tired. I'm so sick and tired. I feel like I should put webcam for this, but I want it to feel like real creation. Con like, I want there to be mistakes. I want there to be awkward moments. I want there to just... Be here for me. Be here. Not for me. That's stupid. Be here for like. Like you. Like just. I want some genuine goddamn videos. But that's. that's but that's besides the point. Hold on. Give me a sec. Just killing these assholes.
Hey. Scout. What? Is that a hat? Alright, never mind. Um. Yeah, man. The I'll probably find a way to elaborate on this further. Because... I need to get in that mindset. Because I'm kind of just speaking out of my own ass here. And I know it probably doesn't even make sense. But I'll elaborate this on further on on um on further notices. I'll 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 try to explain myself better. But this is me right now. I just want I just want this meta to be over. Like I want to I don't want to see another um blank live channel. I don't want to see it um a second channel dedicated to stream vods. I don't want plug-in TikTok accounts that are just re that are just posting clips of clips that are already posted on other clips for TikTok likes. I'm tired of TikTok shop. I'm tired of Instagram reels. I'm tired of shorts. I'm tired of reaction content. I'm tired of slop. I'm tired. I'm 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 tired. I'm so tired. Why can't people just gain an audience off being themselves? Why do they have to be like these lobotomized fucking like like these goddamn lobotomy patients? Why do they have to act like five-year-old children? Why do they have to bark? Or bring horses to their home, or scream, or light fires in their house. Why can't they just sit down at their crappy computer and play like Cuphead or something, man? I'm not crying. I'm just I'm just very upset. Why does everything have to be so like all over the place? New thumbnail- Sniper Wolf ruined the thumbnail era by creating a thumbnail style that worked and became everybody's thumbnails. Hell, even I tried it. Well, it's an experiment. I just want to see how it does. I, I'm not actually going to stick to that. Well, I'll see how it does. Because I want to make a cre- Because uh, I want to make a con- A uh, living off of this. And you got to do what you got to do. Might not like it. But hey, it is what it is. By the way, let me know if you guys like those. Or if you prefer, like, the pictures with just, like, the game cover or the logo or just a logo or something. I don't know. Just let me know. And the thing is, the problem is, is that even if people tried to make content like that again, you know what would happen? No views. No analytics. No money. No nothing. Because everything is about the goddamn money. It isn't about people wanting to make videos because they want to make videos. Everything is about the money. Money this, money that. I I only I don't like making videos. I do it because it's the laziest job in the world, and I want to make money. Money, 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 money. It's always about the money. It's never about Hi, I want to make videos for people, and I want them to see how I do so I can gain an audience of loyal supporters, and I can have an outlet to express myself. No, it's about, what if I fucking drop it down sexual style as a 29-year-old man to F Floyd Millie music on camera? Yeah, that'll give me the TikTok views. People will call me demure. That, that's free advertising, right? God. And I feel like this this logic is okay for just memes. And that is because memes have have been older than the spawn of existence. Not this goddamn Tommy in it live Blu-ray Jinxie queso shit. 
One by one Lego piece. Shut up! Please! Oh my god! Ugh. The thing is, when people watch this, you know what's gonna happen? They're just gonna disregard it. Because it's just, oh, this has been really cool. Like, I wanna, but like, but like, uh, whatever. Time to open Instagram Reels. Like, can you guys just stop? And the thing is, it's far too late for, for stopping. It is far too late to just say, let's have a reset. Time, everybody, back to watching 11 minute walking. Day. <laughs> Time to back, uh, whatever. Back to watching 20 minute, um, Skyrim videos. But no, it's just like, uh, like scrolling on Reddit in watching videos on Reddit or like, you know, doing all this stuff. You know, like, going, or, like, the laziest content imaginable. The thing is, if I really wanted to do that, I could, like, I could succeed after 10 years by just being lazy. Making content everybody else makes. Streaming on Twitch and YouTube and Kick. Clip farming. Going on Reddit and just posting about what my nine-year-old community makes on reddit or ai generating stories which by the way yes that's a whole separate video but ai has ruined content too i will go into that actually in a little bit i just feel like we need to go back to a time where people were here for the people they wanted to watch yes there were some real sticks in the mud i mean real What's the term? Turds in the mud? Whatever. Well, oh, some real assholes there, like Onision. And, like, that one Asian kid who like, killed his best friend over a RuneScape item or whatever. It's just like, why? I like weapon reskins. It's, it's probably not that big of a deal, but, like,. I just, and I know this just sounds like me just, oh, you want to get famous and make money so you don't have to do anything for the rest of your life. Because I think if I wanted to, I could go, I could make a, a, a Reddit video right now and I'll get infinitely more views and stuff I really want to make for me and for the people who want to see it. I'm so sick and tired of those YouTube videos that are just like, uh, make content for you, create for you. How to become good at YouTube. Um, make make videos for your audience, not for the general people. That, okay, this is the hard, dead truth. This is dead fucking honest. That will never work. We are in an era where if you don't do what the majority wants from you, you will be ostracized. You will have nothing. Nothing. You will have nothing to show for it. You got to play the new brain rot game. You have to make like shitty video essays that are just the laziest content ever that are just putting gifs on top of gifs on top of gifs on top of images on top of images on top of meme sound effects you like i can't people just like i just can't like sit down play tf2 speak my mind anymore unless this somehow goes viral which i highly doubt it because no one's gonna be watching this It's just like, what the, what, this is dead on, what, what's the point? What, what's the point, man? I, f it's, I just, I feel like it's not even worth it anymore to be a content creator. Because you, why be a content creator when you can just be lazy? Just scroll on Reddit and just be worthless. Just be another, just be another branch on a giant tree and that tree smells horrible 
I just want to do stuff. I just want a way to reset the meta because being a content creator, it just looks so easy now. It it just looks like there's no real passion. It looks like there's no real integrity to it anymore. Yeah, I'm staring at my screen. I'm not even playing the... Um, I, I'm not, I'm not happy with the way things are going. I just wish I could just make videos, be myself, like in the old days and people will like you for it. And I know that just sounds like lazy, like I don't want to put in the drive. I, I, I have been putting the drive in for 10 years so don't ever say that to me. But like, I don't want to hire editors. I don't want to stream. I don't want to clip farm. I don't want to be fake. I don't want to... <laughs> I just want to be me. If I have a bad opinion, let me have the bad opinion. That's why, that's why I said I'm never... That's why I'm probably never going to do merch. Or deals or plushies whatever the hell these damn creators are doing nowadays i just want to make youtube videos you don't have to worry about like are people gonna like this are people gonna watch me are people going to enjoy what i do because i want to make because i do want to make money off this but like i don't want to i want it to be a passion i want it to be a passionate job i want it to be something i want to be proud of myself in the future i don't want to Work on 9 to 5 and hate my life. I'm not about that. <sighs> I'm... I just... We just need a content reset. We need to go back to 2011. Because... With the way things are going now... I don't think that being a creator is worth it anymore. Being a person who's passionate about their about their content, unless it isn't professionally edited, or like like Mr. Beast or challenge videos or clips or blank that made blank famous or blank that makes me blank or streaming on kick or being racist or seeing the n-word on Instagram reels over and over or making stupid ass TikToks shitty filters just for interaction bait I'm tired we need to go back we need it to stop now I want to go back to the days where I could just watch someone and be happy that I'm watching them I don't want to be happy. I don't want to laugh because he called Queso fat again. Or the or I don't want to be upset because another of these new creators ended up fucking kids. I just want to just watch somebody and be happy that I'm watching them because I like them. Not for what they're going to do. And the only exception I have for this is Caesar Fever. That's just because low key he's been he he he's been carrying my life for like four years, and that's super obsessive. That sounds retarded. I'm sorry, but like man, this this man this bro Caesar is so goaded. Sounds like I'm meat riding him right now. Fucking old ass man. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh, praying on your downfall for real. But, um, hey, no, uh, I'm not even, I'm playing like ass. I'm going to be a medic. I just want a way for us to just say, why can't we just create for ourselves? I'm trying to think of anything else before I end this video. 
start a new series. Hopefully this makes me viral. Probably not. People don't want to listen to somebody boomer rant. I sound like a I sound like a Gen X person ranting about how transgenders has ruined the world or something. I sound like my dad. Ew. No one wants to sound like their dad. Why do I have the... Why do I have the syringe gun on? Th that's not a... That's not a... A hurt against my dad. I love my dad. The thing is, I'm probably just gonna take this recording and make like five shorts out of this because I have to. For the views, for for like the sh for the shits. I don't know, man. You know what's great? And there's gonna be some asshole in here who's gonna be like, "Oh my god, Unk fell off." Like I was never on. I just have nine point three three thousand subscribers. I've had for like four years. Have it grown an inch. I'm like no I'm like no continues. Shout out to no continues, he's awesome. I just want a way for me to just be just be happy with what I'm doing and not have to worry about like what I have to be doing. By the way, uh this is just an update for people who actually still want this video essay, the Tom and Jerry one. I'm getting motivation to work on it again. The reason I haven't been working on it for quite a bit is because I didn't have the motivation to. Like, I have all the lines and stuff, but, like, I need to change up some things. I'm trying to figure out if I should edit it in a way, in a more professional style. Because these other two Tom and Jerry es video essays have been... <sighs> awkward. To say the least. But it's whatever. All that matters is that I can finally take advantage of me ranting and talking to myself and find a way to make that into an outlet for other people to hear me out. This is more therapeutic for me. This is my this is my little therapy here. I'm not going to cry or anything. M maybe not. Probably not. Mostly not. I just want a. I'm just want a way for people to just. I just want content creation to be authentic and genuine. I'm tired of it being a cesspool of loud people degrading themselves, or watching Reddit, or scrolling on Instagram Reels. Like I love Blue Rye. He's a funny content. Per he's a funny person. He's a funny content creator. But I'm sorry, he is the definition of what content creation has become. Reddit, TikTok, Instagram Reels, Twitter, um, having um, Grass is Green Majority takes, reaction videos, uh, reacting to other people, reacting to reactions, Sniper Wolf thumbnails. Look, he's a cool dude. But man, he just reeks of, I am a content creator. I make content. Give me subscribers. No diss to him though, but like, he's exactly what I... Hey. Hey. Hey, we're, we're not doing that. But yeah, unless I could think of anything else, I'm just going to end the recording and just upload this on YouTube. <sighs> trying to think of something here. Because I don't... Hold on. Oh yeah. Um, streaming sucks. I hate streaming. Go back to videos. Streaming has ruined content creation because it has because it has basically allowed people to just record themselves doing anything and just uh, just pay freelance editors to just edit like two hours of footage that they sent to them. You know, and you know what? Some asshole or some streamer is going to see this one day 
and they're gonna be like, um, there's actually way more to that. It's actually a lifestyle. Shut up! Oh my god, shut up! You're you're fucking lazy. You're stupid. You make the lowest brow and people suck your ass for it. You suck. Go back to making videos that have more that have infinitely more replay value than playing Elden Ring for four hours or or just barely reading chat and, and just and the only reason why I like Caesar Fever because he doesn't do many of the things I listed here you should seriously go watch him he's like the only good content creator out right now and I do mean content, because besides the fact that he streams, he's honestly amazing. But I'm a hate, because I'm a hater. Shut up. I hate I hate Caesar. He's old. He smells like shit. I hate him. Fuck off. I hate his community, too. Okay. I made a meme about it where it's like um, when your favorite stream when you're watching your favorite streamer and whatever and his his content's cool but he has but he low key has like the cringiest fan base of all time but people are cool in that fan base so you just have to deal with it. That's the fever demons. Look, I li I like a lot of the people there. I'm being honest, I'm, so most of his friends actually carry his streams. I'm being dead ass. The best streams are with his friends. That is. That is just a given. If it's just Caesar alone, I'm sne I'm snoring. He's so boring. <laughs> he sucks. His community carries him. Well, if you're probably not gonna like the community if you're like normal and not like a mentally ill, like teenage artist. <laughs> that's that's fucked up. I'm sorry. Please don't interpret that negatively. You you guys are all beautiful. You guys are all amazing artists who who've made something really special for everybody. But that's that might be the end of it. I might make it another video like this, like tomorrow or something. I just want a way to allow myself to have an outlet, allow myself to be myself, along with making all the other videos I do. I still have all the Crash Two videos I need to edit. That's going to be really painful. There's like 15 videos in that. In case you're wondering, I think the first ever uh, instance of people just posting stream stuff for videos was Yo! Video Games. But that's an exception because Maximilian Dude is just a genuinely amazing person and father from what I've seen. And his friends are awesome. He doesn't purposely do it just to appease people. He does it because he's, he just, he's just like that. But that's besides the point. Him and Caesar and a lot of other content creators I'm missing out. Like Sai of the Clown, Sai Speaks, Moist Critical... They do suffer themselves, and that's amazing. But I'll probably elaborate this on a further instance. But my voice is tired. My mouth is dry. I can't think right now. I had a really bad day today. So I need myself to chill out. This is the first video of a series I might be making for years. It just depends on how I'm feeling. Thank you for listening to the first episode of I Just Want to Talk. Because sometimes I just need to talk, man.